been walking through the bush with my two pups, Ruby and Red, and actually going off the tracks and right into the bush on our block. And there's just so much vegetation that's dead on the ground and also resilient. And I came across this tree. I mean, you've got things like trees that are leaning on on others. So sometimes they come down together and that one still seems, no, that one's dead. But anyway, it's leaning up, but it's actually got lichen growing all along it. And then I came across this one and I was looking at this and thinking how, how incredible. It's like it's, you know, it's healing. It's got the bark growing back on a bit like what you'd see when, you know, the indigenous people were living and cutting out different things to make tools. And then you'd see the healing on the tree. So it's like that. But then I also look further and you can see, you know, this tree's been burnt. And there's another sort of healing growth back, more scarring or burnt. And then you look up the top and the whole lot's taken out. It's actually been burnt right up there. And yet we still have this amazing tree. <laughs> How resilient. It's as high as the other trees around it. It's put out another branch with what it's got left and it's kept going. It, yeah, gosh, it's such a powerful metaphor, I think. Here's more healing around there, but there's it's burnt, so it would have maybe been higher once, but it's still, it's going back there and it's swaying in the breeze. Oh, I just had to film that. Incredible. So it's getting its nurture, that source from the ground in that half a tree, sort of across the bark anyway coming up and then it's got a whole lot of other stuff around it. Anyway, fascinating nature.